Hi, it's Lavon. Welcome back to my channel and to Step by Step. Today's episode is Step 4 of the Armoire, Wine Bar, and Coffee Bar Transformation. This took a little longer than I anticipated, but I think the results are well worth it. When I left you last, we had just put in the light fixtures. And so now we're installing the wine rack holders or the wine glass holders. They came from Websteron.com. So that is a restaurant supply place. Um, I was able to order from there even though I'm not a restaurant. So don't overlook places like that because they came in way under Amazon. So now I'm using a hole saw bit attachment to my drill to drill holes in for the wine bottle uh, holder section. And I think that I need one that's specifically made for wood because the bit that I have is made for ceramic and it's a diamond edge. I've had it for a long time too, but I suffered through because it went through the MDF to cut out for the light fixtures and now for this plywood uh, that I'm cutting out for the wine bottles. So as you can see, I struggled with it a little bit, but we got three holes cut in the plywood. It's actually much easier to cut them out of the plywood than it was the MDF. Now we're going to speed things up a little bit for you. I'm using my jigsaw. This was my idea all along to cut those holes in and then to cut it in half so I have two pieces that were semi-circles that would hold the end of the wine bottle. And I love it when a plan comes together. It worked out rather well. So now I am sanding where I used Dixie Belle's mud to close up all those little holes that were left from the doors that we removed. Mud is really easy to sand. So I used Dixie Belle's Boss in the new gray color throughout the inside of that. And I was also excited to use the new Scarlet brush. It just fits in the palm of your hand and it's super easy to use. I love it. So I coated those pieces, the, the raw wood, and then also on the inside. And now I'm using sawmill gravy on the fronts of the wine rack holders and also on a lot of the inside. So I'm only coating the front pieces. But I did put the primer on the front and the back so that it wouldn't be raw wood. So again, I coat the inside of the section where the wine bottles will go with sawmill gravy. I had to remove the uh, shelves out of there to do that. And I'm also putting sawmill gravy on in the upper section doing a lot of cutting in. I want to make sure I don't get those spaces that I don't want. And there it is with the uh, boss and then with the sawmill gravy. So I put the shelves back in and now I'm putting the fronts on. I did some pre-drilling and I'm screwing them in. And I'm trying to kind of countersink them a little bit. I pre-drilled so that I wouldn't split the wood. I, I knew that was really important to make sure that that didn't happen after all that work. And again, remember the shelves are on a slant. Finishing the upper shelf, nice and sturdy. And again, I start with the second one, changing out my bit. Again, I'm pre-drilling the first hole 
and then the rest of them will um, go smoothly. So this goes on the left side. On the right side, there's enough room for a small refrigerator. So this is a little Frigidaire, I think it's a 1.6. Um, so that one is just perfect for it. And this really turned out very versatile. I think that you'll agree it's an attractive piece of furniture and certainly very functional. It has lighting, it has storage for glasses and mugs. You can plug in your Keurig, your coffee maker, you can hang the glasses. Uh, as you'll see, I used some extra colors in the back. I used mermaid tail, and we used gravel road on the outside, and also on that part, did some dry brushing, and also some driftwood. So nice farmhouse colors there. Very functional, you can store six wine bottles. And I really hope you like this piece. I want to thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And visit us on LaVintageDecor.company and on Instagram we're LaVintageDecor and on Facebook we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. I hope you stay well.